Just into CNN, Eastern Virginia Medical School under fire for printing a racist photo in a 1984 yearbook. Uh, speaking out that the photo is on the personal page of Virginia sitting Democratic Governor Ralph Northam. It shows two men, one in blackface, the other dressed as a Klansman. Uh, the governor is under mounting pressure to resign, and the school has hired a former state's attorney general to conduct an independent review. The school's president has just held a press conference where he apologized to the African American community. We are acutely hurt by the events which occurred. But it does not compare to the feelings of outrage and pain for our minority and African American community here at EVMS, Virginia, and around the nation. The emotional wounds they endure are enormous. I want to express my sincere apologies, particularly to the African American communities who were most injured from the pictures of the yearbooks and those pictures which have been circulated in the press over the last few days. I am so sorry for the pain that, is, that has inflicted upon you. Let's go to CNN's Sarah Seidner. She's live there in uh, Norfolk. And so you have learned uh, that there are even more racist photos in recent yearbooks from the same med school. So here's what we found. Uh, we have been looking through the yearbooks uh, here at the EVMS library, which is just behind me, uh, right near where the president and provost talked about what happened and the fact that he said that in 2013, someone came to him, showed him a photo in the yearbook. He was upset by it. And he said at that point, he decided no more yearbooks for the medical staff at EVMS, that they are done with doing that because he is appalled at the pictures that he's seen recently from the 1984 yearbook and appalled at the picture uh, that came out in the 2013 yearbook. The picture that we found in the 2013 yearbook showed someone who had dressed up as a Confederate soldier with a Confederate flag uh, behind their picture. Now, we should talk a little bit about exactly how these pictures get into the yearbook. A lot of people with questions about that. We have just spoken to a staff member from 1984 who was also a student here mm -hmm. who was on the yearbook staff. He was a layout person. He helped put things in place. And he said, here's how he remembers the staff of the yearbook getting the pictures. He says, look, we were sent the pictures or they were dropped off in a sealed envelope by the students themselves. Many of the pictures, the students asked for them back because they were precious. They didn't have more than one. They had all sorts of things like their family members, their grandparents sometimes, sometimes their children. Depending on the student, they would send in a group of pictures to the yearbook staff to be put on their personal page. I asked him this question. Is it possible that someone may have switched up the pictures or that someone did this yep. on purpose? And he responded, here's what he told us. That is certainly possible, but uh, the people, myself and the people that I worked with, we took great pains to try and make sure that uh, everything uh, that the students submitted uh, was was kept together and uh, and to try and prevent the wrong pictures from going on or the pictures from going on someone else's page. But it's it is possible that that could have happened, uh, but it, it's a low probability. So you heard there from Dr. William Elwood. He spoke at length to us and he said, look, he said some of this stuff was done back then. No one on the yearbook staff flagged it. Uh, he wasn't sure if there was a faculty member involved. The president and provost also asked a, answered a question about whether the faculty knew about this. And he said he couldn't remember and each year was different. Uh, this particular student said, look, I know that the editor looked over every single one of these pictures and nobody thought anything of it. That was the scene then. Now fast forward to 2013 and now we've discovered another picture of uh, a Confederate soldier sort of put in in garb into the yearbook in, in 2013. Those are the pictures that the provost and president is likely referring to, saying that he just decided that he was just going to stop this now. And he apologized not only to the community, uh, African-American community, but also to the students who he said were greatly hurt by this. He says a lot more needs to be done, and there's an independent investigation now being had, Brooke. And the governor is still the governor until further notice. Sarah Seidner. Thank right. you very much in uh, Norfolk, Virginia.